Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Rick, back with pickups from this year. <laughs> We're getting into January 2023 pickups. Uh, it is still May when I'm recording this, so still far behind. I have a few pickups from Macari, a few pickups from uh, eBay, a belated birthday slash Christmas present from my mom and sister, uh, two trips worth of stuff from Second and Charles, stuff from Goodwill, a few things from Jupiter Records, as well as a few things from Booth's Corner. Uh, I'm sure you guys, if you watch Dave Cinema Sickness, you'll, you've will you seen the video where we go to Booth's Corner, um, where we get kicked out or Dave gets asked to stop filming and we proceed to leave after that. We didn't get kicked out. Um, and then Second Charles, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it when we get into it. A woman, basically, a manager there, pulled all the stuff from the back and we were able to look through it and I actually went back like a week later to go look through it by myself where there wasn't 18 people crowded around um, stuff coming out so right into the unboxing portion of this and this I got off of Macari for eight dollars as I made a note there thank goodness because it's been five months uh, this was a WrestleMania Blu-ray I did not yet own in the collection. That is WrestleMania 31. So we got Brock and Roman. Uh, then there's a blank space right there. Triple H, Sting, Daniel Bryan, and The Undertaker. So this would be the one where The Rock confronted um, Triple H and Stephanie with Ronda Rousey. They were rumoring that that was going to be a match the following year that did not pan out, although Ronda Rousey did come to WWE and wrestled. Uh, she teamed with Kurt Angle, not The Rock. Big step down star power, in my opinion. Still cool. Next up, I bought this from McCarty for $19. Don't remember what this is. Oh, this was a cool... This was kind of cool and annoying at the same time. So I'd actually grabbed, I want to say four of these or three of these um, during Black Friday from Best Buy and from Amazon for like, I want to say there were $7.99 at Best Buy. And then I grabbed this five film set for $19, one of which had never been released to 4K individually. So this took up a lot less room than the four titles I bought. Plus I was getting the fifth movie. And because I had slip covers with all the ones I bought, I ended up getting more than what I paid for, for all the titles I bought, which almost covered this. Like my profit almost covered this whole set, but it is the Jack Ryan five film Blu-ray 4k collection. I got off Macari with the slip cover, which I thought was cool. And it features The Hunt for Red October, Patriot Games, Some of All Fears, Clear and Present Danger, and Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, which I don't think had been out on 4K until very recently individually. Uh, and it has the 4Ks of each, as well as the Blu-rays of each. So this is cool because I've never seen any of these movies except for the Sum of All Fears. So uh, for $19 to add a five film collection with slipcover on 4K, had to do that deal. So I did. I grabbed that one. Uh, we'll do, this is eBay. I grabbed all this from one seller because if you bought two or more things, you got like 25% off. Um, so the first thing I grabbed was actually a DVD. Uh, I did not pay attention. This was advertised as very good and not uh, like new. So I want to say a few of these discs. Like one has some scratches. I want to say one of the other ones has some scratches. But this is not on Blu-ray, and I really enjoy the WWE 24 um, series. So it is WWE 24 WrestleMania Monday, which is like one of the biggest shows of the year. The Monday after uh, WrestleMania, there's either somebody returning from an injury, a debut with the company, a big title match. So this is a three-disc DVD set um, with matches and events. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of things. It looks like disc one is a documentary and then disc two and three are either matches or promos. So I grabbed that. I don't have what I paid for it on the box, so I apologize for that. Uh, then WrestleMania 30 on Blu-ray, which I did not own. Uh, this was supposed to be, uh, this was right after CM Punk walked out of the company, if I remember correctly, because he was mad about 
what they had planned for him. It was the authority was going strong. I think he was going to wrestle Kane or Triple H at Mania. I can't remember. Uh, but end up the yes movement happened. Daniel Bryan got his uber push. Uh, wrestled Batista and Triple H in the main event for the title. Not Triple H. Uh, Batista and Randy Orton. So, yep, did not yet own this. I'm trying to get all the WrestleManias on Blu-ray that were released on Blu-ray. So I had to grab that. And perhaps the coolest uh, find was actually a sealed copy of this movie because I did not know this was on Blu-ray. Um, this has been on my to rewatch list for a while. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with stand-up comedy. Uh, the last year and a half, Bridget and I have gone to see a ton of stand-ups. I'm so glad we started doing it. I've seen my favorite, Burt Kreischer, a few times. We've seen Fortune Feimster. We've seen Whitney Cummings. We've been to the Comedy Store. Uh, we've seen Sal Volcano. Um, I, I'm definitely forgetting that we saw Sarah Silverman. Uh, in the next six months, we have four more stand-up shows lined up. So lots of stand-up. I love stand-up. And this was actually a theatrical movie um, of four stand-ups. Um, I've never gotten to see any of these people live, one of which is no longer with us. But it is the original Kings of Comedy on Blu-ray, brand new sealed. Uh, with Bernie Mac, who's no longer with us, Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, and Steve Harvey. I remember this movie being hilarious, but I have not watched it in quite some time. Um, so, yeah, I did not know this was a Blu-ray. Like, even looking at this artwork, I, this is... Seeing it on eBay was the first time I've seen the artwork. So, I, I don't know if it's an MOD, if it's just something that's very hard to come by. But had to grab that one. So... That is it from my package portion of January pickups. Uh, no, it isn't. I lied. I got my my birthday slash Christmas uh, gift. Yep. Enjoy your gift. Happy birthday. Better late than never from mom. So very thoughtful is also from my sister, Nicole. Um, I got this because only a few of these movies have been released on Blu-ray and I own some of them individually on DVD and I wanted this all in like one set so I don't have to worry about having it multiple times over in like different sets and whatnot um, but it is the Jackass 7 film collection so this is Jackass the movie unrated and Jackass number two unrated which never came out on Blu-ray uh, Jackass 2.5 Unrated, which I don't think was on Blu-ray. Jackass 3 and 3.5 three and Unrated, which I do own on Blu-ray. Uh, and then Bad Grandpa and Bad Grandpa 0. 0.5 on Blu uh, on everything on DVD, not Blu-ray. I thought for sure when Jackass Forever came out, they would put out a Blu-ray set. But then I realized the first two movies were all shot with handheld cameras and the quality would not get improved on Blu-ray. So I figured why not own this all in one like nice compact set and be able to get rid of the excess cases and space. And my mom was kind enough to get this for me. I love jackass movies. They still make me laugh out loud to the point where I'm crying. And this was awesome. Um, a 4K steelbook that I absolutely love the artwork for. And um, I owned the Blu-ray Steelbook, which I want to say I've probably sold since getting this. Yep, it's no longer on my shelf. So I sold the Steelbook of this that I had. But this is the 4K Steelbook of Pulp Fiction, the Tarantino classic. Um, I had to ask. This was on my wish list as soon as it got announced and I saw the artwork. So Pulp Fiction, the 4K Steelbook. So thank you to my mom and sister for grabbing these for me for my birthday slash Christmas. It is much appreciated. I love you guys. So that is it for packages. Now we're going to dive into... I'm going to remove this because I feel like I'm going to knock something over. Um, so I did get two things when we went to um, Booth's Corner. I actually know a guy who has a stand there and he had all sorts of movies for a dollar and... I haven't even looked the last couple times because it was the same stuff, but he got all new things in, and these two I had to get. I'm a huge fan of the challenge and real world, and I have a lot of these. I have uh, I have a decade of bloopers. I have hookups. I have things you'll never see in Vegas. I have real world Paris. 
uh, things you'll never see, but I did not own Chicago and back to New York, uh, real world you'll never see. And uh, for my wrestling fans, if you're not aware, let's see here. I have to look at the right one. That right there, that's The Miz. This was his reality TV debut. And man, has he grown. Also, Darrell, if you guys watched The Challenge. Um, this was The Miz's first, like, stardom. Uh, this is where he started. Um, you have Rachel. Is that not Darrell? I thought that was Darrell, and it's not Darrell, but it looks like Darrell so much in that picture. I apologize. That is not Darrell. Um, it says, follow Kevin, Lori, Mike, Coral, Nicole, Malik, Rachel, and The Miz. So, not Darrell. Definitely looks like Darrell. If you guys watch the challenge, that guy looks like Darrell through and through. Uh, and then Chicago features... Theo, Tanya, Kara, Kyle, Carrie, Anissa, a lot of people who are on the challenge. But whenever I come across these, they're usually horribly scratched. If I remember correctly, these were like some fingerprints, but both in amazing condition and they were only a buck a piece. Yeah, they're both super great condition. So I had to add those to a collection. I love the real world and uh, the stuff you never saw they, I think they used to call it the S you never saw, but had to grab these when I saw them. I beat Dave to them luckily because I think he needed them, but those were going to my collection. <clears throat> Next, we went to Jupiter Records uh, that same day, and I only grabbed a few things here, and this was all from the dollar room that they have. I love the dollar room there. That's where I spend most of my time, um, especially like their CDs in there are great. They restock their movies all the time in there. So I grabbed these three things. We got two CDs and a DVD. First CD is The Toadies, this being Rubberneck. Uh, they had a big song when I was in like elementary school, Possum Kingdom. Um, so I've never heard any of their other music, full disclosure. And uh, I like Possum Kingdom, so I figured why not get this. 1994, I was 10 years old. So I did not own this album. Um, these guys are from Philly. And this is Roots, this being Phrenology, uh, which features the Seed 2.0, which got radio play. Um, I like the Roots. I, I have not listened to a ton of their music, so I'm very curious to listen to their album. Like I said, the Seed is a fantastic song. They've gone on to be the uh, band for Jimmy Fallon and The Tonight Show. Quest Love just rang the bell when the Sixers lost a game they should have won. Game six against the Celtics. So I grabbed that. And then this was also a dollar. I want to say this was a dollar because maybe one of the discs had some scratches. I was shocked that this was in the dollar room because this too is mint. Yeah, this, this one has some like dust on it, but it doesn't seem like any scratches. So for a dollar, I definitely wanted to grab this. And it is the Led Zeppelin DVD, uh, which features a performance live at Royal Albert Hall from 1970. Some footage from Nebworth and Madison Square Garden, as well as Earl's Court. So a lot of live performances, five hours and 20 minutes for a buck. Grab that. That seemed like a no brainer to add to the collection. Um, and then we went to Second Charles, the main reason for our trip. We were hanging out with Brandon, uh, come on board on Instagram. It was me, Brandon, Dave, John, RJ. I think that was it. I don't think. Oh, Chris was there. Chris, Muppet stuff, Chris. Uh, like I said, Dave was there. And we went to Second and Charles. I always, I always go hard at Second and Charles. I spent hours in there um, and I got a stack of stuff. And like I said, there was so many of us. Um, the manager whose name I totally blanked on brought stuff from the back was letting us look. I went a week later, just me and RJ and she pulled stuff from the back for me to look through. And, uh, when it was all of us, it was just like a lot of like grabbing and people fighting, not fighting, but like just grabbing stuff. So I was able to like focus and just look for myself. And, uh, I'm not as interested in the horror titles, 
So, um, so I kind of looked at like music stuff as well as, um, dramas and that kind of stuff. But this first stack is all the stuff I got from when I was with the big group, Dave and John and Brandon and Chris and RJ. So first thing here I grabbed for Bridget specifically, cause Bridget is a huge fan of hers. I enjoyed watching this show too. And I actually know this goes for some good money. Um, and the discs were super clean. A little bit of damage to the back artwork, but it is the Anna Nicole Smith show, or the Anna Nicole show volume one. This was a show she had on E. You can see where they would put the security sticker over. Got a little um, torn up, but all three discs, if I remember correctly, are super duper clean. Like it looks like somebody may have watched it once, maybe not even. Um, so the discs are all there, all in great condition. So I had to grab that. Bridget was excited for that one. Uh, then this is a cool find, the Quebec Magnetic Metallica concert on DVD, the two disc set, which features a full concert and then, um, some bonus footage on the second disc. So grab that. I of course don't have prices on anything cause I peeled the stickers off. This was probably the most intriguing thing I grabbed. Um, I don't know what caught my eye about it but when I pulled it off the shelf and started looking at the artwork I kind of started freaking out by the amount of people I recognized it is a show called Burning Love Season 1 uh, that's Ken Marino from Party Down on the front he actually was also the director of this I want to say he co-created it and was executive producer but if you look so I'll kind of show you this So I don't know how many of those people you recognize. Um, we have Natasha Leggero, Kirsten Bell. Uh, that girl looks like Anna Ferris, but I don't think it is. Um, June Diane Raphael, um, Melon Ackerman, Natasha Leggero. I don't know if I said her already. Um, Adam Scott's in this, Michael Ian Black. It's only 110 minutes, so I'm guessing it was short episodes. I went online and looked at the cast. The cast of this thing is absolutely insane. This was only like $2, so Bridget and I are going to watch this. We love garbage TV, stuff like Love is Blind, The Ultimatum on Netflix. This looks like it's a parody of a dating show, uh, almost like a parody of um, The Bachelor. So, And like I said, the cast is insane. It's from 2012, so it's 11 years old. Uh, so this just caught my eye and when I saw the cast I was like I have to get that that looks amazing another show I've been really really wanting to see I know it's streaming on Paramount Plus but with the way stuff is getting pulled off streaming I was worried and this is season two uh, I need to get a hold of season one and this is the DVD I think this is on blu-ray but it is the new Twilight Zone that is created by Jordan Peele um, I mean, I know they have a bunch of major stars who have done this. <clears throat> it says features Tony Hale, Ethan Embry, Joel McHale, Christopher Maloney, Jenna Elfman, Damon Wayans Jr., Gretchen Mull, Topher Grace, and many, many more. I know the first season had a bunch of stars too. So I grabbed that. Um, obviously the pricing was right. And I bought a bunch of stuff to resell as I always do um, from Second and Charles as well, which probably funded everything I kept honestly uh next up is a this is like a parody documentary kind of thing uh road hard which is an adam Kroll movie about a traveling stand-up comic once again i'm obsessed with stand-up comedy as i talked about earlier so i grabbed that then we got cloverfield on 4k which i did not own on 4k i do love this movie quite a bit uh, even though it makes me a little more nauseous as i got older than when it did when it first came out uh, then we have two Criterion Blu-rays that I was able to get. I want to say these were priced at like nine to ten dollars each, if I remember correctly. First up, is a Stanley Kubrick film I've never seen, and that is Barry Lyndon. I, I don't know much about it. I haven't seen. It. I know it's over three hours long, which is probably why I haven't seen it. Um, but grab that. The price was right on it. And then I had this on Steelbook. The Steelbook of it went for quite some money. 
So I sold the Steelbook and I kept this version. I still haven't seen this. This is also high up on my classics to watch list. Uh, it's also another Stanley Kubrick film and it is Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Wearing and Love the Bomb. So I have not yet seen this one, but figure why not upgrade the Criterion? The price was right. If I don't want to keep it, I can resell it and recoup all my money because it's Criterion. So if that wasn't enough for an awesome trip to Second and Charles, this was probably the coolest find uh, in my opinion. I wasn't even sure what this was at first, but it looked and sounded familiar and I pulled it off the shelf and realized what it was is the Decline of Western Civilization collection from Shout Factory, which is basically about, uh, it's about music, but it's about a lot of like punk and hard rock bands. Um, there's commentary by Dave Grohl on the bonus features, features bands such as The Germs, Black Flag, X, Fear, Circle Jerks, Alice Cooper, Lemmy, Poison, features members of Aerosmith and Kiss. Like I said, it, it is in great condition it features the decline of western civilization one two and three a bonus disc and a book complete packaging it was priced super cheap at the time i bought this uh the ebay prices were absolutely insane but when i saw this i was like that's going to my collection that's just it's too amazing to pass up so i had to grab that that was it from that trip to second and charles then uh, I found this at Goodwill, and I was excited because it was a show I used to watch on Showtime. Pretty inappropriate, um, but I enjoyed the show quite a bit. It's a show called Family Business, this being the first season. Uh, and it's about an adult film star, Seymour Butts. And basically, he starts like a toy business um, for adult stuff as well as um, he basically hires his cousin and his mom to work for him. And I'm making sure there's nothing like inappropriate. There's just some scantily clad people. But uh, yeah, it features the family business, which is the adult business. And uh, I remember thinking the show was really funny back in the day. And when I saw it at Goodwill, I had to grab it in the discernment. So uh, yeah, I grabbed this for... $2.99 from Goodwill. And like I said, the following week, I went back to um, Second Charles and grabbed some more stuff. Um, not as cool as the first batch, but I also found stuff to resell. There were two, um, I forget what the show, the movies are called. I want to say like Love Comes Softly, but it was like a 10 film set and there was two of them. They were both sealed for $12. I sold both sets for $90 each on eBay and I paid $12 each. So that funded everything here plus probably my first trip. So that's why I always say guys, you can resell stuff to fund the collecting. Trust me, I I don't pay out of pocket for much anymore because of my reselling. So I get to add to my movie collection as well as refund, uh, resell and put some money in the pocket. So. This movie we had seen a trailer for, um, like previously to, to going to Second Charles, and it looked and sounded interesting with a great cast. Uh, J.K. Simmons, Allison Janney, Hugh Grant, and Marissa Tomei, and this was like two bucks. It is the, re the rewrite, so I grabbed that. Like I said, it was just weird timing. I had seen the trailer with Bridget. We both thought it sounded good, and I found the DVD for $2 at Second Charles. Next up is a, uh, I believe this is a documentary, a Fox Lorber documentary. Haven't seen this one. Kurt and Courtney. I, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff about Kurt Cobain that was put out and uh, this obviously just caught my eye and grabbed that. An A24 movie that I have not yet seen that has been on my to watch list since it came out. Obviously, uh... That man has gotten himself in a lot of trouble since I got this and grabbed it. But um, it is The Last Black Man in San Francisco. I've heard really great things about this movie. Just have not had a chance to see it. But like I said, um, this was super cheap. It was like 3 or $4. Uh, it was an A24 DVD, so I grabbed that. And then I grabbed myself a couple music DVDs. The first one being The Beatles' Help. 
This was like six bucks, I think. So I grabbed that. I did not yet own that in the collection. This is cool. Don't see this very often. It is Sublime Stories, Tales, Lies, and Exaggerations. Looks like it has performances, music videos, like the making of albums. So um, it's a Region Zero. It's, uh, or yeah, Region, yeah, Region Zero. So I grabbed that because, like I said, you don't see Sublime DVDs very often. I've never seen this actually out in the wild. So had to grab that. Then a couple Blu rays to finish out the video. The first being another A24 movie that I haven't seen, and that is 20th Century Women. I had the DVD of this um, that I got for a dollar back at Columbus a long time ago. And this was priced at $3.50. So I decided to upgrade the Blu-ray to watch it when I finally get a chance to see it. Uh, features Annette Benning, uh, Greta Gerwig, Elle Fanning, Billy Crudup. So the trailers for this one look good. So I, I love A24 films. Sometimes, sometimes I don't like them, so I'm hoping this is one I enjoy, but if not, I'll at least get to do my one-time watch on Blu-ray. And last but not least, another Blu-ray, this being another Beatles, and it's eight days a week, the touring years. Uh, have not yet seen this one. Like I said, uh, a Beatles Blu-ray, this was like six bucks as well, if I remember correctly. So that is everything, guys. I took the CD out of the pile. I'm going to try to do this without making a mess. I have a bad feeling about this. All right. So thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This one was quite long. Uh, lots of second Charles pickups. So that is everything. I'm going to put this stuff down before it falls. I appreciate you guys watching. Please check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Letterbox where I rate and review all the movies that I watch. My eBay store. Um, you can check out stuff. If you guys ever see anything you're interested in off my eBay store, feel free to message me on Instagram. You can always email me on um, my email down to movie at gmail.com. We can do a deal off of eBay. I could probably work with you a little bit better. Uh, I have a few people off of YouTube who have reached out to me and buy stuff from me regularly off my eBay store. Uh, so that is it, guys. I appreciate you watching. As always, until next time, who's down?